Herbicide Resistant Crops HRC by Penny McGill. To start off with some background information, genetically modified crops have been grown since 1995, mostly in North America and South America. However, they have not been grown anywhere else in Europe, and the Europeans would like to keep it this way. Herbicides kill surrounding weeds, which are unwanted, but they keep their crops intact. Excessive weed growth forces crops to compete for both sunlight and nutrients. Using selective herbicides is ineffective because even though they don't harm the crops, they are ineffective when it comes to removing weeds. How it works. HRC contains genes that enable them to degrade the active ingredients in a herbicide, making them harmless. Therefore, making the crops herbicide tolerant. Glyphosate and glufosinate target key enzymes in, a, in the plant metabolic pathway which disrupts plant growth, plant food production, and eventually kills it. So how do glyphosate and glufosinate work? To begin with, glyphosate tolerant crops. Glyphosate herbicides kill plants by blocking the EPSPS enzyme. This enzyme is key in the synthesis of, ar of aromatic amino acids, vitamins, and other metabolites. One strategy is to incorporate a soil bacterium gene that produces a glyphosate tolerant form of EPSPS. Another way is to incorporate a different soil bacterium gene that produces an enzyme that degrades phos glyphosate. Glufosinate tolerant crops. So this contains an active ingredient which kills a plant by blocking the enzyme responsible for nitrogen metabolism and detoxifying amino acids. There are three methods, producing a new protein that detoxifies the herbicide, modifying the herbicide's target protein so that it will not affect the herbicide, and producing a physical barrier that prevents the entry of the herbicide from the plant. Advantages versus disadvantages. De so it decreases the spraying of herbicides at one time. It's excellent weed control and hence higher crop yields. It reduces operating costs therefore reducing things like fuel use because of the less spraying. Disadvantages. There are many, for example, increasing use of herbicides, herbicides being become more toxic, weeds develop resistance to herbicides, damages biodiversity, increases pollution, and also harms humans. So therefore, the disadvantages are heavily weighed compared to the advantages.